Hey guys, this is Adrian Informodio, and we're going to go over the features of the Speedline script for After Effects. So what the script does is allow you to attach shape layer paths behind a animated object. And what it's doing is creating several copies, or as many copies as you want. It could also just be a single line behind the motion path of your layer. So here in the script UI panel, you can see we have control over the number of lines. You can simply update it. And with your shape layer path selected, you can click update. You'll see we'll start adding in new lines. We can control the separation. And we can easily adjust the thickness here. We can also move the offset angle, which is the degree of separation for all of the stroke copies. And we also have parenting and expression support, which you only need to use if your animated layer is connected to null objects or using an expression of any kind. So with your shape layer selected, you'll see we also have some effect controls. You can keyframe the length, or you can offset the lines from your object. And we can also lock the endpoint of the stroke. So while everything is animating forward, the endpoint will stay in place. But with the next control, you can actually control that endpoint manually and keyframe it if you wish. So here's an example of the script working on an animated object with a null and the wiggle expression applied. So it's easy to update this animation even after the script has been run. Let's just go ahead and change this null keyframe. You'll see things are getting separated. Um, then just select your shape layer. Make sure the parenting expression box is checked. And then we're going to click update speed lines. See there's a little progress bar to show you it's working and now the lines are attached again just like that. So this gives you a lot of flexibility. This is a sample we've been working into a project. Uh, we have a bunch of circles with a, just a single stroke following behind it. So a lot of flexibility with the script and uh, a lot of ways to use it. So let me show you how easy it is just to use it from scratch. I'm just going to go ahead and create a new layer for us to animate. And we'll make it a circle. Now, before you run the script, you need to make sure you adjust the anchor point of your object because this is where the strokes will be attached to the object. So I'm just going to put it sort of on the side in the middle here. And we're going to give it a few quick keyframes. Okay, good enough. Then you can adjust the settings before you run the script, but obviously these are editable afterwards with the update line. So we don't need parenting and expression checked. So we need to make sure our animated layer is selected. And then we're going to click create speed lines. And there you go. So now we have a bunch of lines connected to the movement of our object. We can increase the thickness, add as many lines as we want. Really go to town with all that. So just like that, you have several strokes following your animated objects. Complete control over the length, the endpoint, the offset. Well, guys, that's the basics of the Speedline script for After Effects. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again next time.